Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachahakwadash. Double honors to the apostles, the bishops, the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations as always to the elect. And I wanted to do a lesson centered around 1 Corinthians, the fourth chapter in the ninth verse, as it describes the position of all right, those who are sent out into the earth, you know, to uh, preach this word, you know, which um, as we get into it, it makes sense that Yahweh Shai prayed to the Father for those who will be sent, you know, out into this world, you know, as apostles, all right, um, the prophets, you know, which ultimately there's an order. OK, um, and ultimately, the Heavenly Father has sent the Holy Spirit. Here in these latter times, you know, um, on the greatest stage <laughs> ever. All right. In the sense that. We're here in the revival of Rome, we're at the, the final captivity. All right. And. Um, at the very end, you know, with all of this controversy, with all of this craziness going on. All right. Um, the Lord has raised us up and put us in a very, very, very um, interesting place, you know, for this. Uh, the purpose of the story, the prophets, you know, who were foreordained before the world began, they ultimately uh, were chosen for this purpose in the story. You see, to stand boldly. All right. And to uh, make their bodies a living sacrifice. All right. For the purpose of the ministry, you know, for the word to go out, that the remnant be sealed in the feast of the Lord. Now, as you read it, you know, describing, you know, the position that the apostles are in, <laughs> you know, um, here it is. We're in that same position. So this is first Corinthians four and nine. For I think, all right, that the power has set forth us, the apostles last as it were appointed to death. All right. For we have made a spectacle unto the world and to the angels and to men. All right. Now, the first thing we're going to look up is this word last. All right. For I think that God has set, set uh, forth us the apostles last. Okay. This word last. I just thought to look it up. All right. Last eschatos, see eschatos, eschatology, you know, end times, all right. Extreme, uh, the word is eschatos, um, extreme, last in time or place. And we're in that last place, we're in that last, you know, captivity, you know. So, <laughs> this is a big stage, even bigger than we, what we imagine. And we'll see, <laughs> you know, as the Lord continues moving, you know, um, as you see the things that have been happening and, you know, it's all of the Lord, you know, it's all of the Lord, man, that, you know, he, he, he's getting ready to put us in a very, very interesting place. Okay. Last in series or places last in temporal succession. All right. Last referring in time. Okay. And. When you get the book of uh, Acts 1 and 8, all right, Yahweh Shai told his disciples that they were going to receive power, all right, before the kingdom was set up because they were asking, when you go, are you finna set up the kingdom? No. He said, um, it's not for you to know the times, but this is how ultimately you're going to be able to discern it, all right, Acts 1 and 8. But you shall receive power after that. The Holy Spirit has come upon you and you shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and all Judea. All right. And in Samaria, which is where the Jews were, those of the circumcision. And unto the uttermost parts of the earth, you know, as ultimately they will be sent. All right. But this, you know, when the kingdom will be set up. Would be um, in the last. You know, uh the last kingdom in, in, in the Lord's movie, all right, before he sets the kingdom up, it's the same thing. Last in time or place, 
Okay, rank, grade of worth. All right, last, the lowest. This is the lowest. All right, ladder. Okay, the latter times, the latter days. All right, and as well, we're getting ready to get into, all right, what Paul is alluding to um, is an ancient custom, all right, where we'll show you um, that goes back to, you know, the ancient Roman Colosseums and, you know, the battle of the gods and things that they would do um, to uh, put, like like the gladiators of old, you know, um, we're going to show you how it ties to the position that we're in. So he set forth us, the apostles, last as they were appointed to death, for we are made a spectacle into the world. All right, we're made a spectacle into the world. That's why you see individuals talking crazy. In the position we take, all right, and, you know, what we're doing, you know, going out on the highways and the byways, all right, we're getting ready to be on the news very soon in a very, very negative light. The heathen have got what they wanted. All right, they got a few more things to get, and then, you know, the full blown, you know, come after the Hebrew Israelites. All right, it's going to be first, it's going to be hardcore Jake, as we see, you know, uh, individuals, <laughs> you know, uh, coming at the Hebrew Israelites. We'll show you that. Um, but it says theatron or theater, all right? A theater, a place in which games and dramatic spectacles are exhibited and public assemblies held for the Greeks use theater also as a forum, a public show, metaphorically a man who is exhibited to be gazed at and made sport of. <laughs> a man who is exhibited to be gazed at and made a sport of okay and check this out if you haven't seen it i don't want to say this should be out for years respectfully to the black hebrew israelites what purpose do y'all serve bro every time i see you niggas y'all standing on street corners dressed like superheroes and barbarians just yelling at people all y'all want to do is no shit what purpose do that serve y'all don't got no money Every time I see y'all, y'all on the corner somewhere, freezing or sweating. Y'all ain't got no building. Y'all don't make no bread. Y'all contribute shit, but to cause con confusion and disruption amongst people. Y'all don't help nobody, bro. Dead ass. A bunch of fucking angry black men trying to find their way. Won't y'all go get a job, son? Huh? Won't y'all find a way to bring some money to your organization so y'all can help people? Only thing I see you niggas do is yell at people and insult people. Y'all don't contribute shit to society. Now, nigga, you got spikes on your fucking wrist and you got a turban and cape. I'm supposed to listen to you, son? Fuck out of here, man. Y'all niggas look like a 70s street gang. That shit is nasty work, son. I can't stand you niggas. Respectfully. I don't give a fuck how much you know, nigga. I just want to know shit. My kids can't eat no books, nigga. Get some money, broke ass, angry niggas, man. That get on my nerves. And he came back with another video, you know. But really, really, what he's coming up against, all right, is the uh, you know the one west, you know, aspect of going out on the highways and the byways. <laughs> you know that legacy that stemmed from there. You know, which ultimately has trickled on down until this time and ultimately you do got jake out there doing too much but at the end of the day all right um like he said we 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 uh you know follow a book of fairy tales so the dude is mad proud but this is the type of um ridicule all right along with you know people coming at us crazy these are the types of things that we're gonna have to endure all right this is uh basically where we at okay this is this this is uh you know the 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 end time. All right, and the Lord has put us out there, and now the world is taking notice. You know, first they laughed at us, you know, uh, you know, then they tried to ignore us. You know, the next step is to attack, and all of them going are going to attack. Even people in Israel, they're getting ready to come hardcore against. All right, the prophets who have the right stance, who have the right report. You see? 
It's about to get nasty out here. Okay? And this this dude here, you know, he claims he used to be down with Wu-Tang. Wasn't they Israelites? Why didn't you tell them that? Would you tell them so-called uh, 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 Jews that they follow a book of fairy tales? Get on there and tell them that. You see, and the, the reason our people are going to come at us like this because they don't have any fear of repercussion. They take the stance of, you know, this is a grown dude with a beard, but he, you can see he's effeminate, he's emotional. Get some money. That's something a woman would say. And what do we do once we get the money? Get a job. What, what, that's such a white supremacist way of thinking. Why, why wouldn't we have jobs? <laughs> you think <laughs> you think we just so we just sleep on the corner that we preach on? Like that's such a, a, a feminine response. But these are the unreasonable weirdos that we're gonna have to in, encounter. All right, on this straight gate, Yahawashai had to do with it. Okay, he had to deal with you know niggas lying on him, totally disrespecting him. Okay. And it all comes, it all boils down to the fact that what, <laughs> you know, and, and like, like this brother put here, Jeremiah 11 and 14, therefore pray not thou for this people. All right. And the scriptures say that the preaching of the cross is foolishness unto them that perish. He's done and he's going to take the chip. Okay. And he probably took the jab. Okay. Okay. All this nigga does is get on the internet and, and, and crack jokes all day. So basically what happened is, I guess an Israelite, he, he had on a Halloween costume and an Israelite was like grown ass men shouldn't have on, you know, wearing a costume. And he got hurt. <laughs> <laughs> nigga got mad over Halloween. <laughs> and it's like these big, you know, uh, uh, moist Jakes, you know, they get on the internet and talk all this tough talk and clown and rank on people all day. But the minute they they're challenged, look what look how you acting. Won't you? Why didn't you go out there since you seeing them? Why don't you go out there and tell them that to their face? See, but this is the age we live in. That internet, you know, uh, I'm gonna say what the hell I want to say. You know, uh, uh, you know, no respect, no fear. Pride has reached an all-time high. And the main people that are getting ready to come after us and the main people that Yahweh Shai had to deal with was his own people. You see? As well as, all right, the heathen. We're getting ready to have to deal, all right, with a very, very, it's going to be different. It's getting ready to get different, brothers. <laughs> okay? It says, a theater, a place in which games and dramatic spectacles are exhibited. So let's read it again. Okay, metaphorically of a man who was exhibited to be gazed at and made a sport of. That's our part in the story. Yahweh Shai was gazed at and made a sport of. All right. Beaten for three hours, man. All right. This is our first first Corinthians four and nine. For I think that the most high have set forth us the apostles last as it were appointed to death. For we are made a spectacle unto the world and to angels and to men. We are fools for Yahweh Shai's sake. All right. But ye are wise. Those of you who are watch, you know, watching, getting edified. We are weak, but ye are strong. Ye are honorable, but we are despised. We, you know, the starting with the apostles and elders, you know, the stance we take uh, and, you know, the, the how this ministry is being forwarded is offensive. All right, you got to understand the word of Yahweh Shai is 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 Yahweh Bashim Yahshai is sharper than a two edged sword, piercing even so people get cut, <laughs> you know. And Jake, uh, uh, you know, this this ministry is offensive. We're telling the world ultimately, look, this whole setup is getting ready to be destroyed, and, and uh, we're going to usher in a new world. In the form of Yahweh Shai's kingdom on earth as it is in heaven. He's going to establish a righteous government. We're telling them that to their face. We're telling them we're the chosen people. These are all ideas. All right. In this world that oppose what this place is founded upon. Edomite supremacy. Pseudoscience. Lies. So the stance we're taking. People are getting ready to, uh, uh, you know, take heed to it more.
the Lord is getting ready to take this ministry to another level. You see. Even unto this present hour, we both hunger and thirst and are naked and are buffeted and to have no certain dwelling place. All right. Meaning we're not accepted. OK, and laboring, working with our own hands, we are reviled, we bless, being persecuted, we suffer it, being defamed, we entreat, we are made as the filth of the world. All right. And the offscoring of all things unto this day. I write not these things to shame you, but as my beloved sons, I warn you. So he warned us. All right. This is what we signed up for. And this is where it's getting ready to go. You got to deal in the straight gate. Niggas are a big part of the straight gate. Your own people, Israelites, Jake. Doing things that are not conducive, uh, uh, you know, to, you know, put a stain on a ministry. And all of that is going to be placed on you when they get the right footage and, you know, ultimately what they need. All they're going to do is just put all Israelites. All right. In the box of what they're showing on TV and interview people. All right. Uh, the show particular brother, you about to brothers. We're about to be put on the stage. OK, so what I did was I pulled up this. Uh, all right. First Corinthians four and nine all right off of uh you know manner and customs of the bible by james freeman all right this is number 863 set forth last it says for i think that god has set forth us the apostles last as it were appointed to death all right for we are made a spectacle unto the world and to angels and to men the apostle may have had in his mind the public exhibition all right of the bestiari all right bestiari and the gladiators the former were men who fought with beast <laughs> just imagine in ancient rome they would put all right particular men all right in cages or in stadiums to have them fight you know wild beast okay and the latter men who fought with each other OK, so some fought with beasts, other men fought with other men. Some thus fought for pay. All right. While others were criminals who were compelled to contend with beast or with armed men as in uh, as an expiation of their crimes. OK, so if you <laughs> your only way out of, you know, jail. All right. Or your uh, the, your judgment is predicated upon you. Uh, beating a lion or a nigga was was swords you had to fight them and people are sitting there watching this man this is the ancient world this is the ancient Roman Empire people would sit there and watch these things for sport and they still do these things behind closed doors they gave you an um example of that on us you know what the elite do not the elite but you know on some level yeah the elite they the, the squid game thing okay the, this is what these the, this is what these elites do <laughs> okay a lot of these people who go missing there they're they're in the <laughs> in these uh you know rings of terror man the, this devil gotta go it says while other others were who were criminals who were uh, compelled to contend with beast all right or with uh armed men as an expiation of their crimes and as a source of amusement to the spectators so this is where we are okay the lord has thrown us to the wolves and as you can see the, the 2024 approaching it's already hot Things are, uh, uh, are stirred up in the spirit, man. OK. And synonymously is coming. Uh, Jake is getting ready. To, these particular camps are getting ready to come after us, man. <laughs> They're going to be like, we've we, hey, look, we got to get these niggas out of the way. They're the problem. OK, you're going to start to see that. All right, you're going to start to see more agent provocateurs pop up. The agents are already showing who they are. 
I mean, it it, it should be, you know, kind of easy to see how particular men are moving. You know, whether it's, you know, the, the some sincere men amongst them, but then certain men are agents, you know, and pretty much they've infiltrated, you know, there's 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 people who are working in interest. All right. Of the powers that be. That's another way this devil gets, you know, particular Jake's is he'll say, all right. And he did it on Judas and the Black Messiah, the movie. Basically, he would send particular men who were getting ready to go to prison. All right. If you don't want to go to prison, OK, well, you play this role. All right. You go join this group. They have to learn a doctrine and he has them in bondage. You know, as many of that going on, as many men who are, you know, informants, FBI agents, all kind of stuff is going on. We're, through, we're, we're in the midst of all of these various different spirits and motives and intents. All right. But the beauty is we have the pure intent. So we're an amusement to the spectators, man. OK, everybody's looking. OK, and this and, 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 and it's getting ready to be on another level. In the early part of the day, such an exhibition of such an expedition, the prisoners were given arms wherewith to defend themselves. But at the close of the exhibition at noon, all right, exhibition at noon, the poor wretches had nothing to protect them and soon fed easy, all right, and certain victims to the destroyer. Thus, the apostles were set forth last. All right, the poor wretched had nothing to protect them and, and soon all right fed easy and certain victims to the destroyer thus the apostles were set forth last so at the very end at, at noon all right the poor wretches okay would be in these situations where they would be you know pretty much thrown out there all right without carnal weapons you know, but in this sense, in this fight, all right, ultimately we lean on Yahweh Bashim Shai. You see, to fight our battles. Okay? And that, we're, that, that's the position we're in. It's likened unto that, but the Lord isn't going to give his people, all right, to be, uh, uh, as the scriptures say, let's get that real quick. If the Lord. If the Lord was not on my side, I believe it's. Uh... So this is where we are. You know, when he said that, you know, uh, Paul used a lot of slang from the society they were in. All right. They would be able to allude, you know, to particular allegories as per pertaining the truth based upon, you know, the uh, sports and, you know, the particular things that were taking place in Rome. Psalms 124 and 1. If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, now may Israel say, if it had not been the Lord, Yahweh, who was on our side, when men rose up against us, they had uh, then they had swallowed us up quick. All right. When their wrath was kindled upon us. Then the waters had overwhelmed us. The stream had uh, gone over our soul. Then the proud waters have gone on of our soul. Blessed is who blessed be Yahweh by Shemiah who have not given us as a prey to their teeth. Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowlers. All right. The snare is broken and we are escaped. Our help is in the name of Yahweh by Shemiah who made heaven and earth. So. Ultimately, the Lord, he's going to, you know, deliver us. But as the scriptures say, the righteous shall be scarcely safe. Okay. Scarcely saved. Let's get that real quick. Meaning we're going to be in a difficult position. First Peter's four. And 17. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai, man. And, and, and whew, oh, man. And you as you looking at Israel, and how we move, it makes sense that we went into slavery. I'm going to keep saying that. 
It says, for the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of the most high. If it first began at us who know the truth, what then, all right, shall the end of them be that obey not the gospel of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai? All right. And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? So it's going to be a scarce. All right. The Lord, our rights of passage, you know, um, <laughs> is, you know, like Yahweh Shai sacrifice, you know, that was, uh, you know, the, but now we have our sacrifice. All right. And we have to stick to the plan. We must strive lawfully. <laughs> You know, you 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 seeing a lot of guys who ultimately you can tell they look down on the position of Yahweh Shai, hearing it, it being told to them, them having to apply it the way Yahweh Shai walked. It irks a lot of men. The simplicity in Yahweh Shai ain't fun enough, or you know, it, ain't, it don't make enough money. It ain't controversial enough. The word is molis. All right, molis. With difficulty, see, with difficulty will the righteous be saved, pursuant to Peter. Scarcely saved, hardly, not easily, scarcely, very rarely. And we, we read about this all the time in the book of uh, Second Edges, the seventh chapter, where it talks about this wide, you know, place full of good things that, uh, you know, is set. All right. And the only way you can get there is through the narrow. OK, and it's fire on one side and there's water on the other. This is where we're getting ready to go through. And many are going to be offended. Many are going to give up. But he that endured unto the end, the same shall be uh, saved. OK, because we got lions coming at us, we got agents we got weirdos we got you know crazies with all kind of you know weapons so we need a higher power we need <laughs> we need yahweh there's no way to win in the flesh as we've been set forth last okay the apostles have been set forth last let's see what um John Gill says it says meaning either in time respect to the prophets and patriarchs under the form of dispensation and the apostles were sent forth by Hamashiach when on earth all right yada 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 okay it says yet were in the least of esteem of men all right people look down on you this world hates you when they see you, you when you're out on those highways and the byways, they come. There's a lot of thoughts, man. They really would love to see us lose. They would love to see us destroyed. They're planning all kinds of vocab, Malone, all of them. They want blood. They want all right. The 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 and their heart's desire is for us to be absolutely destroyed. A nigga like him. All right, this guy. He said we add no value to the earth. One of them rapper niggas. I bet you won't tell one of them Jews who bending over uh, all of these rappers that they will uh, worship a fairy tale god. You wouldn't do that, right? See, and Jake only get like this when it comes to their people. You know who the main one complaining about uh, the, the, the climate crap and all of the, 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 the BS this wicked government is doing? Other Edomites. Jake is figuring some things out, but Jake is way behind. Jake's still being goofy. Trying to be cute. <laughs> Look, Jeremiah 11 and 14. Therefore, pray not thou for this people. Neither lift up a cry or prayer for them. For I will not hear them in the time that they cry unto me for their trouble. And Jake is getting ready to be in trouble. You just wait. All right. To, and, and they're going to blame us. All right. When 
Esau starts to roll and they got us on the news, Jake is going to say, y'all the reason that they coming down, y'all the reason for hate, y'all the reason that they doing this, y'all the reason we can't have this. Because Jake wants this world to continue. Here at he's talking about money. The money's going digital. Then what you going to do? <laughs> the world we're coming into, we're going to control the resources. We're not going to deal with no goddamn paper or digital, digital money. The resources of the earth is the money. The king is served of the field. You're of this world. You're from beneath. This is a earthly man. This is a base carnal earthly man. You're from beneath. You're like my children can't eat no books. Well, shit, they're going to be eating books in the time that's coming. If they can get their hands on that. And you're going to bow the knee like the little sissy you are. <laughs> you're going to bow the knee to the image of Baal. All of you clowns. Okay. Because ain't none of you standing up to this devil and all of the wickedness he's doing. You ain't never had nothing to say to him. Nigga. Anyway. I really didn't. I just, you know, pressed record. I brought this up. Kind of just press record. Brought up a few scriptures. But, um. Yep. It says yet. Let's see here. Who though they were. Uh, let's see here. When they had received their mission. Since his ascension. All right. When your went back to the heavens. There was a commission that we go out and teach. OK. Um, and the message is a very far out message. According to this world. He rose from the dead. We the Israelites, the reason we went into slavery is in the Bible. Like, it's a very, you know, the so-called UFOs coming to deliver us. America's going to be destroyed. Y'all the Edomites. They're like, what? What the uh, Edomite? Nigga, they white. <laughs> you African-American. Like that one chick who who, who just died. Uh, 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 Nitty Nefer Nitty. She's doing videos talking about y'all not Israelites. Y'all African-American. Where is that in the Bible? What nation is African American in the Bible? Anyway, and we got to deal with big, low, vibrational, musty Christians. Sloppy, you know, the, the deceptive, nasty Christians sitting there breathing and all in the microphone, just 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 uh, uh, hurt. And all these moist ass niggas, man. <laughs> it says who have received their mission since his ascension or in state and condition. Who, though they were uh, set in first place in the church, the elect yet. All right. Were the least in esteem of men. And were treated as the most mean vow an abject of creatures. Let's look up this word abject. This is how they looked at the, the apostles, man. This is how they look at us today. Okay. No, 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 no. Abject fam. <clears throat> yep. This is, uh, let's see. Something bad experience, present maximum degree. Wretched, miserable, hopeless, pathetic. <laughs> Get you some money, nigga. Okay, pitiful. Sorry. Right, that's how they look at us. That's how we look to these people. All right, Wisdom of Solomon, the fifth chapter. Okay, because that's the other side of it, man. We're set uh, or show forth to public view and made a gazing stock by reproaches and afflictions. <sighs> As it were appointed to death, they were continually exposed to it. All right. We're in death also always caring about them, the dying of the Lord. And we're all the day killed for his sake. Okay. 
you got to understand this is a perpetual this is a, a daily sacrifice all right <laughs> every day let's go up I want to get second corinthians 4 as well all right this is um barnes it says uh we are made a spectacle uh theatron the theater or amphitheater <laughs> of the ancients which they have amphitheaters here in babylon okay we're in rome it says or amphitheater of the ancients was composed of an arena or level floor which combatants fought and which was surrounded by circular seats rising above one another to a great height and capable of containing many thousands of spectators Paul presents himself as on this arena or stage contending with foes and destined to death around him and above him are an immense host of human beings and angels <laughs> looking on a conflict and awaiting <laughs> uh, the issue. Okay. He is not alone. All right. Or unobservable. He has made a public, in universal gate uh in the he is made public and the universe gazes on the struggle they see us out there on the highways and the byways they're getting ready to see us on the news it's getting ready to be you know presented as another boogeyman amongst all of the boogeymans that they're presenting okay the the the, the old anti-juice stance i'm talking about the 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 true men of the lord the ones who are standing firm all right, though you may have what you have to say, the ones who are standing firm, exposing this devil for who he is, you know, making understand what he's doing, what he's bringing. OK. Is 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 the apostles and elders on down. OK. And the brothers. All right. Who have entered into those labors, man, telling the truth of the matter. <laughs> all right. Not holding back. All right. Esau is getting ready to, uh, uh, you know, he's getting ready to come at that message, that testimony. It really, really affects this world. That's why people are getting so mad. That's why so much is happening. The Lord is stirring up controversy in the earth. All of this is his doing. We still have to operate and use uh, move wisely. But pretty much things are happening because the Lord is getting ready to take this ministry to another level. Okay, the YouTube speaking and all of that, that was one glory. Then there's another glory coming. And it's going to be full of power. And there's going to be a lot of judgment going on. Okay, a lot of judgments are coming. 2024 is going to be action packed with judgments from Yahweh Bashim Shai. Okay, it says, let's see here. Uh, that's it, you know. <sighs> yeah, but pretty much the Lord just put us here. The expression means that he was in public in his trials and that this was exhibited to the universe. The whole verse is uh, designed to convey the idea that God had for the wise purposes appointed them in the sight of the universe to pains and trials and persecutions and poverty and want. See. Which we don't have. All right. Uh, you know, schools and buildings and, you know, ultimately it's just all about doing the work of Yahweh Bashim Yashad. That's the building. You know, there was a point where people looked at Noah as just, just absolutely retarded and wasting his time. You know, it it doesn't become, you know, uh, you know, uh, something people really consider in the sense, well, damn, I should have hopped on until the rain came. I should have helped. They were right. Let's get uh. Wisdom of Solomon, the fifth chapter. So this is the part of the straight gate. Just one aspect of it. 
Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labors. All right. And this is an example of a nigga that makes no account of our labors. All right. We're you got a turban and cape. I'm about to listen to you, son. Fuck out of here, man. <laughs> This is how he feels about all of the camps. He's really just attacking the idea of street preaching. Yeah, he's probably seen the ISUPK in these camps, you know, dressed alike with, you know, the uh, ancient certain things, ancient, you know, the turban, the garments, you know. You got to understand, we're bringing back an ancient way. Uh, when you go back to um, Genesis Genesis, the uh, fourth chapter. Watch this. Genesis, the fourth chapter. It says, this is Adam's son, Seth. And to Seth, to him, there was born a son and called his name Enos. Then began men to call upon the name of Yahweh. So as we're calling on the name of Yahweh, that word is kara. To call out, to recite, to read, to cry out, to proclaim. So this goes back to a very, very ancient lot. <laughs> to call out the name of Yahweh Bashmi Al to recite, to read, to cry out, to proclaim, you know, summon, invite, appoint, call, to read aloud. To read aloud. Okay. So the, the 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 calling on the name of Yahweh, okay, is an ancient lot, an ancient way being done, all right, in uh, the 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 modern, all right, Roman Empire, all over again, and at some point that became a thorn to their side. At some point, it became lawful to openly execute these men. This is the spirit as we just were going back to, you know, did a video the other day. How, why is everybody thinking about ancient Rome? Because we are in ancient Rome. Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 2. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all that they look for. And they repenting for anguish of spirit. All right, shall say within themselves, this was he who we sometimes had in derision in a proverb of reproach. This is the people we mocked and talked shit about. And all right, we fools accounted his life madness and his end to be without honor. This is how they look at us. All right, and if this world continues, then, then we through. We won't have honor. So the only hope is the downfall of this place. See, they're going to account our lives madness. They don't see no victory coming to us, too. What we're saying is total foolishness to these people. OK, and some of them don't even listen, but the, the, some of them actually listen and it bugs them out. And ultimately, for the rest of their life, they're trying to destroy it. How is he numbered amongst the children of the most high and his lot amongst the saints? That's what they're going to say. Therefore, have we erred from the way of truth? All of this pride, all of this wickedness, all of this BS, all of these snares, you camps and land, you you leaders who are agents, whatever is going on. All right. You uh, you, you mocking brothers teaching the, the microchip. OK, and the niggas of this world, niggas like that. They're going to be like, how's he numbered amongst the children of the most high? Therefore, have we erred from the way of truth and the light of righteousness have not shined upon us and the sun of righteousness have not rose upon us. We weird ourselves in a way of wickedness. See, the Lord ain't dealing with us. <laughs> All right. We weird ourselves in a way of wickedness and destruction. You niggas made a covenant with death. Yea, we have gone through deserts where there lay no way. All of these false philosophies, your dry bones. But as of the way of the Lord, we have not known it. What hath pride profited us or what good hath riches with our vaunting brought us? All those things are passed away like a shadow 
as a post that hasted by, as the ship that passes over the seas, over the water, all right, which when uh, it is gone by, the trace thereof cannot be found, neither the pathway of the nails in the waves. So ultimately, all of these, these riches, all of this pride that is being exuded by these people, all right, that we're going to have to undergo, all right, as we go through the straight gate, there's, a, there's another side to that. Okay, the Lord is ultimately going to make us his weapon. Okay. For the ungodly. <laughs> let's see here. Woo. It, keep, it keeps going. Let's see here. For the hope of the ungodly is like dust that is blown away with the wind. All right. Like a thin froth that is driven away with the storm. Like as the smoke which is dispersed. All right. Here and there with the tempest and passeth away as the remembrance. All right. Of a guest that tarry but a day. <laughs> he just. All right. He just comes and he's gone. I'm going to stay. Those, I'm going to come Friday, leave Saturday. But the righteous live forevermore and their reward also is with the Lord and the care of them is with the most high. All right. Therefore, shall they receive a glorious kingdom a beautiful crown from the Lord's hand and his right hand shall cover them. Yahweh Shai and with his arm shall he protect them. And he shall he and he shall take to him his jealousy for a complete armor and make the creature his weapon for the revenge of his enemies. Then we'll get revenge. See right now we have to take the approach of Yahweh Shai, we have to follow the lamb with us wherever he goeth. Okay? First Peter's 2 and 21. For even hereunto were ye called, because Hamashiach suffered for us, leaving us an example that ye should follow in his steps. Who did no sin, neither was gal found in his mouth. And through him, no gal was found in our mouth. Lord willing, we have that number. Who, when he was a, a reviled, he reviled not again. When he suffered, he threatened not, but committed himself to him that judge righteously. Okay? So we can't take our own vengeance. Ecclesiastes 28 and 1. He that revenge it shall find vengeance from the Lord, and he will surely keep his sins in remembrance. So we're not justified in avenging ourselves, but we have to deal with all of these unreasonable, stupid, dumbed down Americans. OK, we got to deal with it. OK, and pretty much as it says in uh, Second Corinthians four, and I'll end it off. Second, Second Corinthians four, we've been given this treasure. All right. Second Corinthians four and three. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them who are lost. And whom the God of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not. So the God of this world has a grip on these people. So what we're saying is, is it can't reach them and it's going to make them angry. They're going to get unreasonable. They're going to start coming after brothers, trying to follow, you know, brothers home. But the Lord going to be with us. These are the trials and the dangerous tribulations that come with being on team Yahweh Shai. And you're going to find out many people don't have interest in Yahweh Shai. They just say it. But when they have to apply it, when it's told, when it's presented to them, it's a, a burden that's a two-edged sword. Okay? It says, Lest the light of the glorious gospel of Hamashiach, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. See? <laughs> so that's why they can't get it. For we preach not ourselves, but Yahweh Shai, all right, the Lord, and ourselves, your servants, for Yahweh Shai's sake. So we're here to serve for God who commanded the light to shine out of darkness have shined in our hearts. OK, our minds. All right. Who commanded the light to shine out of darkness have shined in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of Yahweh Shai in the face of Yahweh Shai. All right. The knowledge of the most high in the face of Yahweh Shai. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels 
that the excellency of the power may be of the most high and not of us. We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. We are persecuted, but not forsaken, cast down, but not destroyed. Always bearing about in the body the dying of Yahweh Shai. All right. The daily, <laughs> the, the sacrifice, man. Okay. We have to make our bodies a living sacrifice. Okay. The dying of the Lord represented what? Obedience to the calling. So we have to bear that. That the life of Yahweh Shai may be made manifest in our body. For we which live are always delivered unto death for Yahweh Shai's sake. That the life also of Yahweh Shai might be made manifest in our mortal flesh. So you're seeing and witnessing what Yahweh Shai went through. Through what his men went through. Yahweh Shai didn't sit back. He called out manners. He rebuked <laughs> leadership. You know. His sacrifice and the way he he, he handled things that, that, you know, a lot of people looked at that as cowardly. But who's who can lay anything to the charge of the elect if we're covered under Yahweh? There's nothing the people can say. We live under the constant danger of death because we serve Yahweh Shai so that the life of Yahweh Shai will be evident in our dying bodies. And we die all the day long. All right, it's a spiritual lashing, a spiritual death. So at the end of the day, as it says here, for our light affliction, verse 17, which is before a moment, worketh a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen, for the things which are seen are temporal, including niggas. Those niggas are temporal. You ain't going to be no more niggas after the two thirds are destroyed. OK, that 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 legacy is is going to be blotted out here. OK, this Edomite rule world this you know, pathetic, wicked, uh, these wicked agendas that boast himself up against the Lord, the pride, the dangers we have to go through jobs. All of these things are temporal. All right. But the kingdom which is not seen as eternal. So hopefully I will edify on to the next. Shalom.